first of all, I have to say that uh, in painting, and, and it has to do with the, the, my choice for painting. I only started painting when I was <coughs> older, when I was 30 years old when I started painting. So as a painter, I'm kind of an autodidact. And um, um, one of the main reasons why I uh, wanted to paint, uh, it was a very rational reason. Uh, I found out, as a young artist, I did some etchings and drawings, that a painting as a medium has a, can have a much greater impact. Although at the time painting was very contested, it still remained to be, and it still will be, a, a very archetypical medium. Like, um, um, it's almost the, the, the a cliché of art. And, and the fact that it was contested and, and that, that it, painting for some people is almost, I mean, in the cliché, uh, no, synonymous to art. That, that's why I, what I wanted to deal with, really. So, and this show actually go, is about that. So, I think you can, I mean, from my perspective, you cannot uh, choose this medium without uh, relating to his, its history. But this show or something, um, uh, it was a group, group of works, and for me it was kind of uh, one aspect of, of the that made me do this group of work was uh, trying to do uh, some experiments very consciously. So in a way, it is my most conceptual show I have ever done. But I tried to deal with this history uh, in a very direct way. So I referred to the archetype, the archetypical uh, form of the portrait um, so I did some portrait form paintings in the show, but I didn't make an actual portrait because a portrait uh, is meant to uh, to show the psychology or, or the personality of, of, of the sitter. So I referred to uh, the portrait, just the face and the shoulders. I referred to uh, the standing portrait. Um, and I, I tried to make variations of it without actually making a portrait because I tried to depict a, a very universal kind of uh, image, a new image that corresponds to things we know. So, so it doesn't stand on its own, it, 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 uh, it holds on to a lot of things that are in our common consciousness. I try to avoid to to uh, add uh, female figures in it because um, if, if that is your question, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, because uh, they have a very different character. Also in art history, we know this that, that the male is like square and the female is round. When you see it in classical painting, in classicist period like, like David, the male figures are fighting and the uh, female figure, it's also an archetype, or, or weeping at the same time, in the same picture. So uh, I want to go to this one direction in, in order to make a connection to, to the history. But, but, the, but in some paintings it's very clear that it connects almost like the dead Toreador of, of, of Manet, because I also have lying bodies, uh, so that, that, yeah. that was a very conscious choice. There's some, there's some very kind of yeah, yeah, some things are kind of direct, but they're never uh, um, physically, I mean, all, all the references are kind of Im implicit, in a way. But what about the painting, the forgery, then, in that show? What kind of fun, how does that... Well, I want to give a signal in the show, uh, that uh, a painting is an illusion, it's just paint on canvas, it's... The material is... Uh, is, uh, what's the word, it's, it has not, not much meaning really. It's just what we add to it, what, what we uh, give to that as a spectator. 
in our common, uh, the way we deal with painting. So we mystify the painting. So therefore, I wanted to make this paint like you wear. <laughs> it's forgery. It's just uh, the there's nothing in the painting that the viewer doesn't add to it himself. The, the painting, the paintings, I, I try to make them very open and, and very um, possible for for multiple uh, associations and interpretations, because on the one hand. This is all possible, and on the other hand, the paintings are like very, uh, <clears throat> from content, that, that can be considered very minimal as, uh, at the same time. If, that, that, that could be, that, that can be regarded as quite nihilistic at the same time. So it goes both directions at the, at the same time, for me it does. And I find that very interesting. And that's a, a, a game of playing with, with, with uh, references. Mm -hmm. uh, Marcel Brutus uh, he's an interesting character. And, and I like him most as a character. I mean, uh, he, was more, he was a writer, he was a poet. Uh, and uh, what, what, I, what I appreciate, I really appreciate it, uh, or appreciate about him is, is, is his attitude. So, but at that time, his attitude, yeah, he was a conceptual artist in a, in, for a big deal. A big deal. But are, and, are and you a conceptual artist? That's what I'm thinking. Are you? I, I, I'm, yes and no. So, partly yes. But I cannot believe uh, you can make uh, paintings that are 100% conceptual. That, that's in. Uh, there are artists that, that uh, are committed that way, but, but I don't believe in that, because painting always has a very significant romantic element. You cannot wipe that out. I can only speak for myself, but uh, my approach of style and painting is... Uh, I consider it as a tool. I need this kind of approach in painting to make the kind of image I want to make. So uh, I consider myself as an inventor of images. Of course, these images are not new because they refer to a lot of other things. That, I mean, that they're sourced, uh, they have roots everywhere. You cannot use the medium of painting today without any romantic connotation. That would be an illusion, that would be uh, wrong, I think. Uh, I think this, this is not possible. Or you, you become, a, I don't know, Perhaps it is possible. I mean, for a minute, the canvas and the paint comes up, it gets theater. Yeah. I mean, painting in itself is, is a medium, as, as film is today, as cinema is today, a medium of, of, of the, um, the um, artificial. So it has no connection anymore whatsoever to... Uh, to the, to the to reality or to the real physical world, or, or it has no documentary purpose anymore. Cinema. Cinema either. That's why I like experimenting with film also. Yeah, but painting in itself as a medium, a painting, a canvas is like a theater stage. Sure. I mean, when you show a painting. It, you make a stand. I mean, uh, it's a very manifest thing. And it's regarded that way, despite everything that has been discussed about painting. It still works that way, it mystifies. And, and uh, that, that's very interesting. So that's one of my, of the main reasons why I chose for painting. Um, because it has this quality, it still has it. And, uh, but uh, to come back to uh, the images I try to generate, is, is uh, I try to leave them open because when you deal with an image, we are used to it that the image gives us an illustration of something, gives us a meaning, makes things clear. And what I try to do is uh, invent uh, images that cannot be defined, that stand on their own in an artistic context. And 
you cannot fill it in. So it leaves open, it's like a wound. But the moment you can define an image, it's dead. So I think a painting should be, or an image should be a living thing. It's not just something that is depicted or something that is, uh, it's not just an image.